you're Scottish, how does one approach an American sort of a Western film? You know, when you when you come upon a story like this. Well, I mean, it's a great story. So it's, it, the, 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 what you what I did as an outsider was I, the first thing I did was you know try to try to learn as much as I could about about the world, try to spend a lot of time there, uh, try you know try to, to to research it and surround myself with people who who had knowledge of that environment, and then just keep using my eyes and trying to be as honest as possible to the material, uh, and that's that's kind of what we did. And I, one of the things I'm very proud of in the film is is that people's people from Texas say it feels very Texan, and and, and that that vibe is is you know it feels authentic, and uh, you know that's that's that feels like an achievement for me to, to, to have got there on that one. Did you watch any like classic American Western films to like kind of get a vibe or did, was this all just your vision? It didn't really, I don't really watch movies when I'm in the middle of making a film and uh, so I, I, you know, I have watched a lot of them and I particularly love Westerns from the 1970s, a kind of revisionist Western, so they're all sort of echoing around my head but I, I didn't actually watch anything while, while we were making it. Um, yeah. Well, Jeff Bridges said that, you know, when he got the script and he knew that you were on, signed on as a director, he said he wanted to see one of your films, and he did, and he was absolutely stunned at how amazing your work was. How, when you when you were casting, did you initially have Jeff Bridges in mind for this role? Yeah, yeah, very much so, but, but also that it's a, it's a kind of, it's, it's not a really, it, it's a question people ask that isn't, you know, it's not really a right question. The film comes together how it comes together, you know, and, and uh, uh, so, yeah, yes, Jeff, Jeff, high on the agenda. But, but I, I sort of, I almost don't like that question, basically. So, so can we scrub that question? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, then, what was it like working with Chris and Ben as well? Well, Chris and Ben were fantastic to work with. Uh, we had to shoot them very, very quickly because uh, we, Chris had to go on to do Star Trek. So there, there was a real energy to them together, and 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 we we sort of bonded as a real sort of tight family, uh, and and I, I could shoot them all at once, uh, and with pretty much sequentially in the order of the story, and so we really got under the skin of the characters, uh, and and it was yeah we had a great time and. You know, siding with the outlaws for two and a half weeks was kind of was, was a real experience. And then, then Chris left, and and and, and we had uh, you know, had to side with the lawmen for the, for the rest of the shoot. And it was almost like two different shoots. It was it was great. You know. well, this isn't necessarily just you know a good guy a good guy bad guy movie. It's a it's a movie about you know uh, it's a movie essentially about family and making the correct choices. What was it like for you when you were first reading the script? I, I loved the script when I first read it. It was a kind of love at first sight thing. I read, you know, read it very, very sort of urgently, and 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 I basically said, I love this. I don't want to change a word of it. Um, I mean, we did, we did. That's not how it eventually happened. But the the principle of that was feeling this this is this is a script that doesn't need any further development. It's beautifully done, and uh, and it's a it's got a really really strong heart to it. it, it you know, it, it it's got great characters. It's got a great at narrative arc, it's got a, a real heart and soul. It's about real things underneath it. I just, I, I, you know, all the things I was looking for in a script was was here. So it was a real gift.